evening guys how are you all doing i hope you've had a really lovely wednesday hasn't the weather been amazing to the start of this week it's been absolutely stunning it's been so nice to see the sun back uh, first up i don't know how well you can hear it in the background but my dog's snoring away in her bed so if you hear a bit of a funny noise in the background that is why second up yes i am wearing a headband inside that's because i don't want anyone seeing my hair because you know as always it's just out of control um, we haven't done a history video in a little while. I think the last one was the buying and selling of horses in George and London, which I really enjoyed doing. I found that so interesting. Um, and today we're talking about Hyde Park and it's like relation to horses. Again, very interesting. Um, I say this many a times, but history vlogs really are amazing to do, but they're a lot of work. So please show it lots of love and likes and comments. And it's, um, it's a lot of work. And not only just the researching of it, which I really like doing, obviously, um, but it's also like trying to create, put it into a vlog and find all the paintings to go into this vlog. And actually, even just like videoing it is really hard. I, I can tell you I've deleted a lot of takes of this video and started again because it's been quite hard to make it sort of flow um, just because it's so much information to remember. And I want it to kind of work nicely and just I'm not very good at putting it all together sometimes so bear with me um I'm hoping you're not gonna have to see much of my face throughout it because I'm gonna have so many gorgeous paintings to put into it but if you do <laughs> bear with me I probably will have to look at my notes because there is so much information to remember I'd much rather read it straight off the top of my head but I just can't remember every detail and every date and all that so we'll take we'll do our best we'll do our best but it's it is a real interesting one and it has made me really want to go to Hyde Park and ride there. I mean, I, I can remember as a child going to London and walking into Hyde Park. And I mean, Hyde Park is 350 acres, so it is huge. And I remember seeing a track running through it that looked like a race track to me. It was sandy and I'm pretty sure I saw horses walking along it. And I just used to think that's amazing. You can ride horses in the middle of London. Um, and I will later get on to talking about what that track was. But yeah, I think I might try. I might see if it's possible. Could I go and ride in Hyde Park? I'd have to take Corporal. Don't think any of the other horses are sane enough to go. Um, but anyway, let's get into this video. So as I say, we are talking about Hyde Park, which is in the middle of London. It's 350 acres and it's not always been a royal park. So Hyde Park dates back to medieval times. Well, it's certainly traceable to medieval times. And it wasn't until Henry VIII in 1536, four oh, we're stretching the memory to remember these days, acquired the park from the monks of Westminster. And he initially kept the park private so it was just a royal park and he used it for hunting so he would hunt deer boar and wild bull on it and so when he acquired the park he put a nice big fence around it he created ponds so that the animals could drink in there and it was a sort of really beautiful hunting ground that he could enjoy thundering his horses across with his court um yeah hunting after the animals that were kept in there and he would often like organize royal hunts so that he could kind of entertain um kind of ambassadors that would come over and dignitaries and all that kind of thing and they'd have these like massive grandstands within the park so that kind of you know his visitors could watch as he'd go off hunting with his court and yeah go off on a killing spree I guess um and yeah it was a big deal to him you know he absolutely loved his park and like I say it was kept private and even into Elizabeth the first reign she also kept it as a hunting ground um and it would have been lovely to have seen back then I imagine it was very tree and like you know it would have been a beautiful park to keep animals in as I say sadly for hunting so the park stayed private until James the first came to throne and even then he only allowed limited access to it in fact the park didn't become totally open to the public until 16 37. The park's appearance stayed very much the same until 1625 when Charles I became king. He created the circular track called the Ring where royal members could drive their carriages. Sort of a place to, you know, have a little trot around with your horse, have a little enjoying the park and the views and all that. So Rotten Row is in Hyde Park and it's a 1,384 metre length track from Hyde Park Corner to Serpentine Road. So Rotten Row came about after William III moved his court to Kensington Palace and he found his walk to St James's rather dangerous. 
So this was a really dangerous stretch because it was very well known to the highwaymen robbers. Um, so they would hide out in the dark behind the trees, sometimes on horseback, sometimes on foot. And as carriages would come past, they would jump out with their pistols out and they would stop the carriages and they would literally point a gun at the occupants within it, which were often very wealthy people, and they would steal their money and jewellery. And this was quite a frequent thing. It was very dangerous, you know, a lot, it happened a lot. And so William III had the track lit. And it's actually one of the very first pre-lit tracks in the country. So he had 300 oil lamps put along this track. So it became a much safer place for people to walk and ride through. And I guess for William III to walk to St. James's, um, which is really interesting. I never knew that. So like I say, back then it wasn't known as Rotten Row. Um, but I wonder, you do have to wonder if it became Rotten Row because it's a place <laughs> where a lot of rotten highwaymen did a lot of robberies. Who knows? I'll have to research that. Another absolutely lovely fact that is back in Charles II's era, there was a riding ring enclosed in Hyde Park, which was the circular space where coaches drove in two directions. And this was because it was a chance for the occupants of the coaches to nod, smile and flirt with each other as they passed by. And I just love it because it's a kind of speed dating. Like you can just imagine the ladies in their beautiful clothes, you know, in their coaches. And these coaches would suddenly pass each other and they'd get a chance to look in at each other, possible suitable future husbands that might be in the other carriage. I mean, what a great way to do some speed dating. I think this would be one of my most favourite, like, if I could go back in time, I think I'd love to go back to Hyde Park and see this kind of procession take place, these gorgeous horses and carriages and all this wealth and money and just sort of see them like, you know, socialising and kind of, you know, a little smile, a little wave, a little sort of like a touch of the eyelashes as they sort of pass by, you know, well, that might be my future husband, the Earl of goodness knows where. Um, I just think it's wonderful. I absolutely love it. So moving into the late 18th century, Hyde Park still continued to be a place where, you know, the fashionable rich and elite would come and show off their horse riding skills or they'd be sat in their carriages sort of just trotting around displaying their wealth. And it was kind of like a bit of a fashion parade as well. You know, the ladies really would be in their absolute finery. And like I say, this was a place to socialise. It was a place to show off and, you know, maybe meet your future husband. And um, Rotten Row was where the horse riders rode. And then adjacent to that was carriage drive where the carriages would go up and down. In fact, only the monarchy was allowed to go on Rotten Row in their carriage. Otherwise, everyone else had to be on horseback for it. And there's many, many diary entries that talk about just how many people would come and stand at the railings and watch horse riders go up and down Rotten Row and the carriages go up and down Carriage Drive. And like, you know, they would really watch. It's really quite a procession. And, you know, I love this one from... Um, so there's this entry from a Persian, I'm not sure if I've said this right, but Muraza, so Abul Hassan Khan, estimated that even in December, he saw 100,000 men and women walking and riding in the park. And this was in 1809. I mean, I mean, he may have been exaggerating. I don't know. But that is a colossal amount of people. And there are many diary entries that suggest that you know, the park was a super popular place and that a lot of the public would come in, they'd stand at the railings, like I say, and that they would watch these horses with riders on top or carriages behind them going up and down. And just, I guess, you know, back then you didn't have TV. So what would you do on sort of high days and everything? You'd go to Hyde Park and you'd watch all this going and taking place. I mean, I personally think it sounds great fun. Thankfully, there is lots of lovely pictures, well, pictures of Rotten Row kind of from not so many years ago. And then there's obviously lovely paintings from, you know, hundreds of years ago. But what astounds me is just how brave these horses were back then, because obviously it was such a busy place to ride and be out in your carriage that I can't imagine any of my horses nowadays coping with the busyness. Like, I know they go to shows and they cope with that, but I mean, we're talking about a lot of horses on Rotten Row. And you can see in the pictures, like... A lot of horses going up that track and a lot of the public along the railings. And you just think like, surely these horses were spooking and finding it so overwhelming. But I mean, maybe they were just so used to it. I mean, they would have all lived in London. They would have lived in the mews behind the big houses. So I guess they just got on with it. I guess it was just life for them. But I mean, what a spectacle it must have been. You know, these gorgeous carriage horses trotting up and going around. I mean, I mean, I'm sure there were accidents and crashes and all that, but... 
Ah, oh, what I had done to have been sort of stood on a railing just watching it all take place. Also, back sort of in the 1800s, there would have been so many sort of stable yards and livery yards around Hyde Park, like a lot. And actually, it was very common to hire horses out. So, you know, if you wanted to go and have a ride in the park, you'd go and hire a horse off and off you'd go. Another fact about Hyde Park is since 1795, the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment has been based in a barracks on the south side of Hyde Park. So these barracks have been rebuilt several times over the last 200 years. Sadly today, it's not such a beautiful place. Over the years, the barracks there have been absolutely stunning and I have managed to find a few pictures to show it. But nowadays it's a modern tower block and I won't lie, it doesn't look that nice. Um, it's three quarters of a mile from Buckingham Palace so that if they were ever needed in an emergency, it would not take them very long to get there. Um, and, you know, quite often if you're in London, you can see the cavalry out and about on the horses in the park. So to sum this video up, Hyde Park has had horses pounding the ground for many and many a years across it, whether it was back in Henry VIII era when he was hunting across the land and chasing after deer and wild boar and bull, uh, or when Elizabeth I was having many a hunting parties, then to, you know, later on when it was a place to do a bit of speed dating to find your future husband when your carriages that were trotting past each other and having a quick sneaky look in, to even later on when it was a chance to just go for a lovely ride in the park when it was absolutely packed, you know, with lots of the public watching along the railings as carriages were on one side and people were horse riding on the other. And, you know, to think of all these horses, I mean, I know I've mentioned it in vlogs before, but all these horses is just living in London in the mews behind the big houses like I mean what a beautiful place to ride but yeah it must have been absolutely crazy but I'd like to say what a thing to watch what a spectacle um and yeah now I just want to go and do it myself I want to take corporal on that famous turf on Hyde Park and go on Rotten Row and um yeah I'll see if I can make it happen I'll have to do a bit of research on it but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog next time you go to Hyde Park have a look around Think back to some of the things I've told you about it and all the excitement that has happened at Hyde Park. Think of the, those highwaymen robbers that were often hiding behind the trees, ready to jump out with their pistols and nick your jewellery and your money. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed researching it, as I always do. I'm definitely already planning the next one.